the entire city was constructed on the island this means that all the structures like the roads the power plants were built on the soil of the island similarly all the cell structures present inside the cell which are known as organelles are embedded in a fluid which is known as the cytoplasm cyto means the cell and plasm means liquid so cytoplasm is the cell liquid in which all the cellular organelles are embedded in now take a leaf and observe it under the microscope what do you see you see very distinct cell wall and you also see bright green chloroplasts now what can you tell me about the nature of the cell fluid in which these chloroplasts are embedded in see there are two containers the first container has water in it and the second container contains milk and you put a pin in them the pin is visible in the first container but you cannot see the pin in the second container this is because water being of transparent nature allows light to pass through it and that is why we are able to see the pin but since the milk is opaque it does not allow the light to pass through it and that is why the pin becomes invisible so now can you tell me about the nature of the cellular fluid in which all the structures are embedded yes cytoplasm is transparent in nature and since it is transparent it allows light to pass through it and that is why all the structures like the green chloroplasts are visible to us this is a plant cell observed under the microscope see all the organelles are continuously moving now these organelles are uh, present in the cytoplasm they are embedded in the cytoplasm so it means that the cytoplasm is in a constant state of motion now the cytoplasm is watery and because it is in a constant state of motion we can say that it is living now a lot of people started living in the city so people started interacting with each other now similarly there are many molecules present in the cytoplasm like lipids and carbohydrates and proteins which interact with each other and this interaction that takes place in the cytoplasm of both animal and plant cells are very important for the proper functioning of the cell see how it happens the different molecules that are present inside the cytoplasm come and interact with each other and this phenomena is known as cytoplasmic reactions cytoplasmic reactions are very important for the proper functioning of the cell if cytoplasmic reactions cease to happen it indicates an improperly functioning cell or a dead cell so what did we study today we studied about the cell fluid which is known as the cytoplasm the cytoplasm is present in both the animal cell and the plant cell and we've also discussed about the nucleus which is the controlling unit of the cell the nucleus had nucleoplasm so cytoplasm and nucleus together are collectively known as protoplasm so protoplasm is the fluid content of the entire cell 